Good morning, YouTube. Today, we're gonna continue getting this F430 ready to be sold to one of you. So we've got Jay from Just Like New Interiors coming out. We're gonna take care of some of the leather problems that go on in these Ferraris that's super common. So are you recording all of the nefarious activities? If you're new to the channel, my name is Dan. This is my garage and this channel is all about the supercar ownership experience, buying and selling them, maintaining them, DIY work on them. And today we are working on our Ferrari F430 project car that we're gonna flip and sell to one of you. Just recently, one of you submitted this car to my website. I bought it and I'm gonna split the net profits one third with Justin who submitted it. And we're gonna continue doing this. If you happen to stumble across a cool Ferrari or supercar that you think would be a good car to flip, go to my website, normalguysupercar.com. Go to the submit a project car form, fill it out. And if we choose that car, we will split the net profits with you one third. We're gonna continue working on this car today. Jay's coming out, like I said, and of course with this Ferrari, the headliner fell down. So it's really common in these older Ferraris. What happens is they used a foam that's a sandwich between the leather and the sticky tar paper that actually holds it to the roof. And the foam degrades over time in really hot and humid climates such as Texas. And when that foam degrades, basically the headliner starts to sag and eventually it just falls down. So that's what's happening here. We're gonna take care of that. We've also got some stuff on the dashboard to take care of. The airbag cover has a little bit of a wrinkle we're gonna try and iron out. And also the binnacle has a little bit of stuff that we're gonna try and take care of. And then actually I'm gonna have Jay also took care of the binnacle on my 458 as long as he's here. So we're gonna take care of a couple things. Jay really knows his shit. You guys have seen him before. He's done a couple of my cars. We're gonna have him do some more work on this car so it's looking really good for one of you. Hey Jay, do you guys remember Jay? This is Jay from Just Like New Materials. And okay, so see how it just kind of turns to goopy little balls of grossness? Yeah, that used to be foam. Yes. And it was probably like a, I'm gonna say a quarter of an inch thick maybe, mm -hmm. originally, mm -hmm. and now it's just... Disintegrated. Yeah, it just, the heat and humidity and everything just breaks it down, turns it to that. And so obviously that can't stick. No. <laughs> Step one is just to clean off this leather piece. So that is actually the headliner. Okay, so while Jay's working on the headliner, I'm gonna pop off the binnacles on both of these cars so that he can work on those. And then we think we won't have to remove the airbag cover. He's fairly confident we can heat it up and kind of re-stick it because it's actually not wrinkled yet. It's just kind of like coming loose. So hopefully that will kind of like re-energize the glue and let it stick. So we're gonna give that a shot. Okay, so this is the binnacle and apparently to get it off, there's two four millimeter Allen screws in there. We just gotta get those out. And then theoretically the thing pops up. Oh, is it not four mil? Mm -hmm. Might be three mil. All right, so got those out. Now theoretically this thing pops up, which uh, okay, it's starting to. Oh, okay, you gotta kind of like slide it forward a little. There it goes. Oh yeah. Ta da! So as long as I got the binnacle off, I'm actually gonna remove this trim and clean it up a little better because it's got the sticky buttons problem. I've tried to clean it up pretty good, but it's not quite perfect. All right, so Jay's getting all the trim off because we have to get the tar paper off. Right, Correct. and already get the tar paper off, you gotta take the trim off. So it's like, remove this to remove that to remove this. Mm -hmm. So while he's working on that, I'm gonna continue working on this uh, trim piece on the 458. Actually not off, surprisingly. Oh, it's still attached. It's still attached. You might have to just re-glue? I may just glue the one right over it. Oh, nice. With a, as opposed to having to Pull take the whole thing off. Because when they're drooping, then you want to take it off. Yeah, but if it's stuck if already. If it's stuck already, then I just leave it. So the glue didn't degrade, it was just the... It was just the foam. Just the foam this time. The foam, that, that's the foam that's glue, but you still gotta clean all this off. Yeah. Yay. 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 Yeah, that's why I didn't, I didn't clean the interior yet, knowing no. that we had to do this, because I was like, there's already little fuzzy bunnies everywhere. Yes, <laughs> yes. So let me just get a couple more tools and start taking things apart. And okay. Clean, getting ready to clean all this up then. Sounds so. good. Cool. Got the uh, old bed sheet protecting the... The leather and stuff. So we keep the guides complaining about, yeah, hey, yeah. you're getting stuff everywhere. Yeah, well, we're going to do our best not to. Yeah, all these fuzzy bunnies are about to fall everywhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see all that nastiness. Ugh. This cool. is the messiest part of the job. Yeah. Not even doing the original piece, it's this. When you can get it like this and get it to come off, that's awesome. Really cleaned up. That's just cool. Got the glue. That much thinner but this is like three eighths yeah so that's the stuff we're going to put on for insulation gotcha. i don't want to 
want to get ragged on for uh yeah you got on the leather Now they're gonna they're gonna make sweet love to each other uh -huh. permanently. Woo! Right on the line. Love it. Nice. Now to cut, a trim, one last yeah. spray out. It'll be all good. Yay. Looks good. Almost there. Last spray out and that's it. Alright, Jay's making pretty good progress on the 430. I am having a hell of a time on the 458. Yeah, so I've had to kind of disassemble a lot just to try and get that trim piece off. And you can see we've got the trim pieces off. We've got the headliner with new glue. The headliner with the new foam. We're gonna get that reattached. That looks so much better. Oh, I don't yeah. have to worry about fuzzy bunnies everywhere. No more fuzzy bunnies. The hardest part of the job is cleanup. Yeah. Installing is the easy part. Well, you're lucky you don't have to do anything for cleanup because I still haven't got a detail yeah. interior. Yeah, <laughs> but at least now... This won't make any more mess. No more mess. There we go. Now it's beautiful. Like, like, it's always been there. Yes. There we go. Getting the trim back up. These have a little hook up in here. I gotta get in there. There you go. Sweet. All right, just kind of cleaning it up. And then we're going to try and tack down the binnacle and the airbag. Yep, 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 now it's shrinking. No, not too much. Keep Just a little, it. right? Mm -hmm. Just a little. Doesn't always work, but you should look at that. Magic. Magic. Yay, binnacle. Nice. Well, that's nice. It's starting to lift. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, you can see how it lift over here. So this corner is just barely like hanging out for dear life. Would but, it help to throw a little glue on it? Yeah. I may just dab some up in there. I want to see if I can hit this first before having to pull it. She's drying up, but she's not that bad. Yeah. Not like some of the other ones I've seen. It's getting a little bit down. Yeah, it's much better already. You can see it. So Jay resprayed some glue onto the binnacle to help hold it down and prevent it from getting any worse. And we do think we have it basically set up to be nice and good look at that the wrinkles are basically gone just barely can see them that's pretty darn good for now so i've got all the 458 trim pieces off and i scrubbed them down got all the sticky parts off so now i'm going to hit them with some of the plasti dip get them recovered so that they're consistent because right now you can see weird kind of coloration to it it doesn't look very good so while waiting for the plasti dip to dry on my 458 pieces we got the binnacle back in this car take a look at this yes the dash looks really good over there. There's no ripple anymore. The binnacle looks really good. No ripple on that. And look at this headliner. Oh, yes. It looks so, so very good. So much better than before. So again, if you're interested in buying this F430, it is up for auction right now. So all you have to do is go to my website, normalguyssupercar.com. From there, you can choose to bid on the auction, but you do have to register. And in order to register, it's gonna cost you a $10 non-refundable fee. The reason I'm doing that is that's going to prevent any sort of bogus bids. So last time we had a bunch of people doing bogus bids. Ultimately, the winner of the car didn't pay. So because of that, whoever is the top bidder at the end of each day, I'm going to send a $500 deposit request via PayPal. If you don't pay that, I'm going to rescind your bid and send go to the next highest bidder. However, if you do win, that $500 will be credited against the total price of the cars. But if you decide not to take the car, well, I'm keeping your deposit. So that's to keep you guys bidding honestly. So that's the big thing is I don't want bogus bids. I want whoever wins this car to really want the car and actually pay for it. So there's lots of you who do want the car. So don't be a dick. Only 
only bid if you're actually gonna come through on us. Now that, that car is done for the day, I'm still finishing up on taking care of the 458. As you can see, the front of the console is still missing, so we're getting that finished up. Check it out, we have no sticky bits anymore. Yes, not sticky, not sticky, and yes, not sticky. Oh, that looks really good too. That's gonna look much, much better. Okay, got the pieces of trim back in, and look at that, it looks Really nice, actually. It looks very, very nice. Obviously, the binnacle is still not in. We have to wait for that. Jay has the binnacle. He's gonna get it fixed and should have it back the next day or two. A little bit further on the F430. So again, it is up for auction right now. Go to my website, normalguysupercar.com. There you can bid on it after you register. And again, if you happen to be browsing around and you see a cool supercar that might be good for a project car, go to my website, click on the submit a project car, fill out the form. And if we select that car, we're gonna split the net profits with you one third. So yes, once this 430 cells we're gonna pick another project car and we're just gonna keep doing this looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun and we get to do some cool cars so you guys seem to like that and now we have the 458 back in business it is ready to rock and roll well almost i need the binnacle but that's super easy just clip it into place and then it's all set you guys are amazing thank you so much for watching we have tons of car stuff coming right don't forget we have giveaways coming up at 55,000 subscribers so if you're interested in getting some slip low scrape guards go to normalguysupercar.com sign up to my email list or become a member of this channel or buy any of my merch if you do any of those three things you're automatically entered to win and also don't forget I'm doing live broadcasts while we're under quarantines every Thursday night at 8 p.m. Central we'll do a live it's gonna have already happened by the time you see this but next week don't forget to come do that again you guys are so awesome thank you so much for watching we have a ton of car stuck on race so you're gonna want to stay tuned it's gonna be sweet mm -hmm.